2022 was a year when many analysts believe India's foreign policy truly came of age. In the face of strong criticism from the Western media over its continuous ties with Russia and Russian oil imports in a year when its invasion of Ukraine made Russia an international pariah, India stood its ground exposing Western hypocrisy and placing its national interests above all else. Prime Minister Modi's words of advice to Russian President Vladimir Putin that this is not an era of war resonated globally and were echoed by several world leaders. Having asserted itself on a global stage, India enters 2023 as the chair of the powerful G20 grouping and the country stance on major global issues could well shape the international discourse in the coming months and years ahead. Take a look at our next report. If 2022 was marked by the Russia-Ukraine war, it was also a watershed for India's foreign policy, as the country asserted itself on the global stage like never before. When Russia invaded Ukraine in February, the international outreach was swift, turning Moscow into an international pariah overnight. Then came the crippling sanctions and a near-unanimous call for the complete isolation of Vladimir Putin and his country. One world leader after another led by U.S. President Joe Biden condemned Putin's aggression, labeling him a ruthless dictator whose reckless actions had not only violated Ukraine's sovereignty but also jeopardized the security of Europe. As a barrage of tough measures were announced, the deepest cut came in the form of sweeping sanctions on Russian oil. The message was loud and clear. NATO and its allies were determined to hit Moscow where it would hurt and expected the rest of the international community to follow suit. But in the face of intense pressure from the West, India chose to forge its own path, deciding to remain neutral in the war. Prime Minister Narendra Modi played the peacemaker reaching out to both sides and appealing for peace and dialogue. On multiple occasions, Prime Minister Modi spoke to the presidents of both Russia and Ukraine, urging the two leaders to immediately end hostilities and return to the path of negotiations, a stance that was welcomed by the international community. The next big test for India was on the energy front, and it took the unpopular decision to continue importing Russian oil despite Western sanctions. Foreign Minister Dr. S. Jayashankar announced unapologetically that India was going to act in its national interest and safeguarding the interests of the Indian people took precedence over everything else. Every time the Western media questioned India's decision to buy oil from Russia, accusing it of adding to Putin's war chest, Foreign Minister Jayashankar pulled no punches, calling out the Western hypocrisy on the issue. Determined not to let the West dictate its foreign policy decisions, India also chose to abstain nearly every time there was a vote on a UN resolution condemning Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. When faced with criticism over India-Russia ties, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar displayed no qualms in describing it as a strong, steady and time-tested relationship. Uh, if you are looking at energy purchases from Russia, I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe, which probably uh, we do buy some uh, uh, energy, which is necessary for our energy security. But I suspect looking at the figures, probably uh, our total purchases for the month would be less than what Europe does in an afternoon. India's autonomy in foreign policy earned rich praise, even from former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. India's voice had the strongest resonance on the world stage. When, on the sidelines of the SCO summit in Uzbekistan, Prime Minister Modi told Russian President Vladimir Putin, this is not an era of war. Excellency, I know that 
Not only was Prime Minister Modi's message to Putin welcomed and endorsed by world leaders, it was also incorporated into the official communique issued at the G20 summit in Bali. If India's unflinching stand on the Russia-Ukraine war and its consistent message of peace cemented its position as a strong and independent player on the geopolitical landscape, taking over the G20 presidency towards the end of the year signaled its arrival on the big stage. In the last couple of years of the COVID pandemic, India has also been lauded for its vaccine diplomacy. Now, as India gears up to host the G20 summit in 2023, it is well positioned to leave a mark on the world map.